So you're going to hear evidence eventually um, from some of the protesters uh, when they eventually testify uh, that some of the ones that were arrested upon their release, they were essentially kidnapped by OPS officers, driven out of town in the middle of February winter by OPS officers, and left in various rural areas and parking lots outside of town with no shelter or resources. Are you aware of that? No, because I don't know the specifics of what they're what they're speaking about. What I do know is that we, as part of our planning, uh, and Inspector Lucas tomorrow will be able to provide more details. But we did have remote pro arrest processing sites, not in rural Ottawa, in the south end of Ottawa, in a um, residential mixed commercial area where they were protest and then. Uh, released to be able to find um, transportation to wherever they needed to go, which is a common, uh, which is common with the police. Right. So one of the areas there was several, as I understand. One of them was a municipal parking lot where the trucks were being towed to. That's correct. That's right. in the south end. Right. And that parking lot doesn't have a building you drop them off at. It doesn't have a phone. It doesn't have any of that, does it? So I, I don't know what the logistics at the building were. Um, I would imagine it would have needed to have a phone because you have to be able to call your lawyer. So well, I can tell you it didn't. So and these people driven out there, they were already told they weren't charged and they weren't being charged. They were being released, but they were driven and forced outside of Ottawa or in the outer skirts and dropped off in the snow. Now, are you aware this happened? Yes or no? No, I'm not aware, and it wasn't outside of Ottawa, it was still within the geographical boundaries of the city of Ottawa. 